Go ahead. Thank you, Senator. Uh, I would like to back in everything that has been said about the incredibly and unusually short time frame for the consultation, and particularly for measures that um, cut across review, the Samuels review of the EPBC Act, as has already been pointed out earlier today, um, at the same time as there is a review of the regulations around OPGGS. Um, these are all complex matters in and of themselves, and to have this amendment brought before the parliament and under a such a tight, like five working days to review, um, I think is uh, an, an appalling misuse of democracy. Uh, I also want to raise the point that out of 25 submissions, all of those submissions are relatively brief. We normally see considerably more submissions to a process of this kind, and that really does speak to the insufficient time frame for people to consider the full implications of the bill. And I note as well that of those submissions, the 25 submissions, uh, only four are unambiguously in favour, and two of those come from government departments and two of those come from industry being Woodside and EAP. So uh, I would say that there is, and, and 17 are strongly dissenting to this bill. I'd be interested to see how many more submissions we would have received from the public had the usual time frame of 30 days been allowed for consultation. It is uh, functionally very much like drinking from a fire hose for us. We are currently um, in Victoria dealing with three major offshore projects that will themselves have enormous environmental impact. Uh, we have just submitted to the uh, what we're calling the consultation on consultations into the OPGGS Act. And uh, it's, it's absolutely overwhelming. It's not in the best interests of a healthy representative democracy. And we really urge the um, government to shelve this bill and particularly to uh, remove um, Schedule 2 Part 2 of this bill. Uh, it's just, or, or at least to pop it to one side and to resubmit it for an appropriately, um, an appropriate period of time for us to all have um, consideration of the full implications of this bill and particularly to put it to one side until after the Samuels EPBC reform is completed.